So yes guys, welcome back to the channel. As we've said, it's a little bit of a chilled out week this week, but we had to come into Githio to do a little bit of a supply shop. We had two eggs left. Literally, that was it. And you know how much Nicola gets a little bit freaked out Oh no, with... I did have a, a rather heavy loaf of bread, which I'm not sure is actually edible. Bread, baby. But yeah, we came in for a supply run. And then of course, Nicola and her fear of missing out started to realize that there were things to see in Githio, namely the ancient theater. That's your lot, because it's all fenced in. It's quite good, it's quite well preserved now, I think. That's because it's good. fenced in, nobody can get to it. So I'm having a little bit of a struggle this week because we are pretty exhausted from, from everything we've done. So we have decided to have a relaxing week. <laughs> everything we've done, <laughs> not a lion a bite. <laughs> we know in the previous weeks. Exactly. I've actually gone into a bit of panic mode at the thought of the next four or five days actually doing nothing. But I think this, in a way, might be a good thing to force me to try and relax a bit because I think I try and deal with my anxiety by constantly moving on, seeing new things, doing things to almost not have time to think about stuff. And it's not really working. <laughs> I'm enjoying the things I'm seeing, but I'm still very, very anxious. So we figured maybe I should try and actually stop and actually have some downtime and learn to just be me on my own. Um, now this could be a disaster. Absolutely. <laughs> could be worse than ever by the end of the week. Five little bottles of wine coming up. <laughs> But I'm going to try because the other way's not been working, so why not try something different? Yeah, because the other negative point of sort of moving on, moving on, moving on, and we've talked about this before, you know, quite often when you are on a three week holiday, you do, you fill your, your especially a, a tourism type holiday, you fill your days with doing everything every single day. Part of my issue, obviously, I've just completed um, the 100 day project, and I have lots of other things that I needed to get done, and pretty much everything was falling by the wayside. It's actually been quite nice to say, well, while we're here at this campsite, we're getting a little bit of work done as well, other work other than the 100 day project, which is now finished. And I think what we were doing was we were, we were going to so many different sites and so many different things that we were saying the next day, what did we do yesterday? And then we were just staring at each other blankly. We'll have a little bit of us just a, a, a chill out here and we'll show you around the campsite later in the vlog. Chill out here, getting plenty of work done, getting a little bit of a routine, almost a daily routine. Again, we'll show you a little bit of a day in the life on the campsite later on. That not only kind of helps to relax us a little bit, but also re-energizes us, charges the batteries up, ready for, I think the next couple of weeks, once we leave here, are gonna be a little bit full on again. I remember one of my brothers, he, he travels extensively, not so much now, but when he was younger, he would for many, many years travel. And I remember him saying to me, you know, it's great, but you get burnt out. Yeah. And I think certainly, probably a week or so ago, I felt exhaustion like I hadn't felt in a long time. You know, to the point where you start to think, am I unwell? Because I was so unbelievably tired. And I think maybe we were a little bit burnt out actually, yeah. and particularly Nigel doing all the, the logistics, the driving, the vlogging. So it probably is a good idea to have a week out where you literally do very, very little. Yeah just to recharge and like Nigel said appreciate things when you see them otherwise you end up wandering around absolutely shattered yeah. and yeah it's good to see but you probably don't get the best out of them so I'm talking a good game inside I'm going what am I going to do for five days I know. and of course there's us talking about chilling out at the campsite getting into routine doing a little bit of work and what's the first thing she does yeah, well, this was like two minutes from where we parked. I jest, I and it's, jest. it's not much to see, so it's just a little snippet to keep me going. You know, you have to, was it if you're trying to come off something, you do it gradually. Cold turkey. Cold, yeah, I can't go cold turkey. Oh man, I could do a turkey sandwich. Let's wander back into Githio. I'm just gonna have a look. <laughs> I'll wander back into Githio while Fumo Goot over there has a last look at the ancient theatre of Githio. Whoa, it's like a flyby. Nicholas in charge of directions again. Right, it's a mile away. Mm. Back the way we came, yeah. Yeah, back the way we came. Well, we didn't make it too far in our tour of Githio. Time for an iced coffee by the sea. Nice breeze coming in, all is good. But yeah, the whole tourism around Githio thing, it's kind of taking a bit of a backseat. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive.
You know what, I'm getting really used, I've never had an iced coffee before, as crazy as that sounds. Kind of getting really used to them as well. And actually what works out quite well is, still finding it quite difficult to get a coffee that's piping hot and stays piping hot because they're quite milky. So actually having a freezing cold one to begin with completely removes that problem. Oh, get in my bloodstream. What a very nice breakfast was had. Second, I was very healthy, honey and walnut, and honey and nut. Second breakfast for this one. What did I have? Yeah, I had granola for my breakfast, and then honey and nut crepe. Okay, forget about the crepe bit being a little bit unhealthy, but the rest is like not too bad. How virtuous am I? Now I'm going to buy all the cake in the supermarket. Yep, <laughs> we have to stock up. But first of all, let's wander into the little harbour side in Githio and see what's going on. It's actually a very picturesque little town, actually. Yeah, it's quite nice. Well, what a pleasant surprise Githio has been. Glad we kind of came in and followed Nicola's tourism nose. Yeah, we just walked out to the lighthouse and out to the little museum here as well. Really beautiful little sanctuary out of the out of the main town. Loads of hotels and restaurants lie in the front. So again, I'm sure in the summer season, really, really busy. But actually not too bad prices. So the no, main meals, really good. 10 euros or so. We're a little bit disappointed. We're just that little bit too far to be able to get in yeah. without taking the van. Right, but well, we shall wander back through the town, go pick up the van go via a bank, we need cash. Yes, and we need food. We need food? Yes. Of course we do. And what does food involve? Bread. Milk. No, I have milk. I actually got some milk in the local village. Bread and yogurt. Cactus. Um, I've just left our campsite, which is behind me, back here. And the lovely beach behind me. And I'm heading, there's a couple of like towers that I can see on the hillside. No idea what they are. No idea how to get there. But I thought, I fancied a walk. Nigel's gonna go and do some work in the cafe. See if I can find out what they are and if they're worth seeing. So um, if I make it there, because I think I have to go through the forest <laughs> and I do get lost quite regularly in bushes and things. <laughs> so if I make it there, I'll show you what they are. So there was no way to get through from the beach through the forest as I'd hoped. So I'm now having to walk up a rather sketchy road and hope I don't get run over instead. As well as avoiding cars, I'm hoping there's not going to be any random stray dogs about. I'll tell you what, there's some nice views from up here. I'll try and show you when I get a break in the, in the trees. Oh, look what I've just spotted. It's a nice looking hotel with a nice pool. You actually get a rather stunning view of the mountains that are behind the beach here. So I can see what I think is the castle. Now, I think I said, I believe it's a private residence. So we're probably only gonna be able to look at the outside. But I'm not sure if this is a little village as well. So as usual, I've got no idea what I've come to see, what it's called, what's there, <laughs> if it's worth it. But hey, it's getting me out for about an hour's round trip. So that's never a bad thing. So as you can see, I've actually made it. And behind me in the background there is the church, I'm having to read this because I can't remember it. Church of the Archangels, Michael and Gabriel. And then the tower is the Tower of Grigoraki, which was built around 1782, but I can't get in because it's padlocked. So um, I can't show any more, I'm afraid. I'm, I don't think this is a very big village at all, but I'm gonna have a wander around just see if there's anything else. But it, you know, it was worth a half an hour walk up to have a look. Right, so I spotted another castle on the map. Now it says it could be closed. There's no reviews about it, but it's 1K away. So I figured, oh, I'm out here now. Might as well go and see if I can see what it is. Well, this is interesting because it's telling me to take a sharp right, which is up a track. <laughs> um, I've got about 650 meters left to go. And this, is where I'm going apparently, so wish me luck. I had a feeling this was going to be steep. It's hard work in this heat. So I'm about 300 metres away and it's getting a bit more overgrown. That first bit at least was a track and I'm definitely on my own up here. 
you're just freaking me out just a little bit, I must admit. So unfortunately, this is the closest I'm gonna get. I just cannot find my way through the brambles. They're too thick. Well, I'm a little disappointed I didn't make it to the tower. But yeah, that was just so difficult. I've been scratched and jabbed to bits and that was no fun at all. So, you know me, FOMO, goat mentality. I really wanted to get there, but I tried my best. Not happening. So I'm gonna head back and get myself a cold drink somewhere. I've got to say, I'm glad to get out of there. Seriously, anyone seen the day of the Triffids? Pretty sure most of those plants were trying to kill me. I've been shredded. I've been pricked, I've been scratched, I've been gouged. Now I see why there's no reviews on Google about that castle. Nobody can actually get to it. So if you want to go to the castle with a name I can't pronounce because it's in Greek, um, that's about 40 minute, 45 minute walk from the campsite. <laughs> Bring a scythe because you're not going through otherwise. I bet that was really well like protected in its day because you get part way up and you go, yeah, play this for a game of soldiers. I'm not bothering going any further. Anyway, I'm going to stop my walk back. Might see if I can find the other closed tower on the way, but it depends how weary I am by the time I get towards our campsite. bad way to start the morning. Oh, a bit too early for Nicola, mind you. You know what? Campsite life, not too shabby. Perfect way to start the morning. Too early for someone to come for a dip, but not too early for me to be slaving over a coffee. Campsite life and just decompressing a little bit. Most importantly, getting caught up on lots and lots of other work that I was neglecting while doing the vlogs has been really important. Literally four or five hours work throughout the day, throughout each day, should hopefully mean that the next two, three weeks when we leave the campsite, we can get back out and explore without too much other bits and pieces going on. Well, that's the plan anyway. Probably come Monday, Nicola get a bunch of work in and we'll all be back to square one. Forget about snakes on a plane. That's bees in a tree, can you hear them? Hello, darling. Hello. Time for a little run. Already seen two snakes. Trying to avoid the snakes. Halfway into the run, iced coffee. Why not, eh? Why not? Really wish, really wish we could make these in the van. No easy access to ice though. Look who's joined me. Looking at castles. Castles. Well, at least not, at least not looking for bread. Oh, that comes. Coffee consumed. It's time to run again. Bye then. Oh, I can feel the coffee. Oh, good job. Oh, it's a beautiful day for a run in Greece. It's a beautiful day for a run. Second dip of the day. Look at you all brave. It's gonna be very difficult to leave this place. Enough of this sea dipping and running and general tomfoolery. Time to get a little bit of work done. And for that, today, I'm actually going to go and sit and work in the cafe for a couple of hours. They've got really good fast Wi-Fi and pretty decent iced coffees as well. <laughs> Alina, she's just trying to work out where she's going. What's that? <laughs> we set. We set. Back to working mode. Well, for one of us anyway. Enjoy a cup of tea in below the shady tree while one of us brings the kick fund in. So it's Friday evening. We've finished work for the day. And there's a, there's a little river that runs through the campsite 
and apparently there's turtles in there but we haven't been able to see any but actually crossing the little river you then come into this another big sort of wooded area of the campsite and I, I'm assuming this is where they put a lot of the tents I was chatting to the owner uh, the other day and he was saying that in July and August yeah this place perhaps isn't the same level of tranquility that we've been sort of seeing over the last couple of days I think hundreds of people descend upon here which is understandable it's a fantastic place and of course you could camp Camping below the trees. Well, that's the working day over. We've spotted turtles. And now a little pre-dinner snifter. God bless you, Greece. And now we're saying hello to the local campsite dogs. <laughs> hello, Morrow. Hello, Morrow. Oh, and unfortunately, Morrow uh, had an boy. accident. I don't, not sure how long ago, but has a bit of a limp. Oh, you have. He's holding his leg up. Oh, Morrow. Maybe we will bring Morrow a big bit of chicken tomorrow, I reckon. Tomorrow, chicken for Morrow. I'm gonna live here. It's the best community, I must admit, it's amazing. It really is. We may never leave here. <laughs> I know this was gonna be a day in the life of van life in a campsite, but it might be... Um... A year in the life of van life again, site. Actually, no, they're closed in November, so we can't have a year. All right, we'll see you in November. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. And that brings almost an end to a rather nice week here at this campsite. It's, you could describe it as rustic, but in terms of a chilled out vibe, it's just, we've had such a good time. Met some lovely people. Yes, hello, Nicole, Petra and Christina. And the doggies. And the doggies. And yeah, it's just been really nice. And what's interesting is, at the start of this vlog, obviously Nica, Nicola was a little bit anxious about doing nothing for a few days. And it's been the best thing I could have done. I've actually felt for the first time actually, I think on this trip, a few days of proper relaxation. And that's been lovely, really lovely. And necessary, I think, when you're, when you're traveling so much, I think you really do get burnout. Yeah. And it's been nice to just regroup a little bit. Although I'm a bit tired this morning because we had a bit of a late night. Did. <laughs> so I've just undone those last few days of relaxation. But no, it's been, it's been really nice. And it's been nice to have a little bit of a routine, getting out for runs, yeah. doing a bit of work. You know, even just our daily dipping here. Just and wandering up to the little village. Yeah, just really nice. So we've got one more day here, and then tomorrow, our well, plans are a little bit up in the air. We've got some ideas, but we need to see if logistically they're gonna work. Exactly, they'll work one way or the other. But I guess, as always, that will be a story for next time. Once again, thanks a lot for following along, and until next time, somewhere in Greece, take care, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>